This is not the usual mud houses you see in villages in the northern region of Ghana. It is the home of witches, or rather, alleged witches. Matia has spent eight years in the Patinga Witches Camp, located in the Patinga district of the northern region. She is blind and can barely take care of herself. She was condemned as a witch when her daughter's baby died and she was blamed for it. I feel useless living in this camp. It would have been better to be home to take care of my grandchildren. The fear of being lynched after accusation of witchcraft forced her children to move her to the Patinga witches camp. She looks so frail and can pass for 80 years. Her granddaughter, Miley, was separated from her family to relocate to the witches camp to take care of her. In this camp, the 47 alleged witches have similar stories. Someone got ill or died, and they got the blame. Old women and widows are mostly victims, and are not strong enough to protect themselves. People in the community were afraid they might bewitch them as well, so they were abused and chased out of their community. A man in my community said he saw me in his dream chasing him, so I was accused of being a witch. I had to flee and seek refuge at this camp.